Hello everyone, this is going to be a basic tutorial on how to 3D model if you guys are on a phone, a tablet, or something else than a laptop or a PC. Right now I am on PC just to make this video, but I will make this like where you guys know what to do on phone and stuff. So what you're going to want to do is search up this uh, website called Tink- Hold on, I can't spell. Tinkercad. It's spelled exactly like this, and then you're just going to search that up. It should just pop up with like a tinkercad.com. Just click on that, like this thing right here. Just click on tinkercad.com. You're gonna wanna log in or sign up or whatever. And once you are right here, you guys are just gonna want to go to create and then hit 3D design. Don't do circuit or code blocks, just do 3D design. Now you guys will be sent into this little workshop piece right here. And what you guys are going to want to do now is uh, go into like this settings wheel thing you're gonna click up into it and either turn it off or turn it to point one i i like to do it off or at point one uh just because it lets you move stuff a lot easier and size it down a lot easier if you have like specific things next you're going to want to do is then name this project i'm just going to name it tutorial um like tutorial for youtube so then you're gonna wanna click off of it and you guys will see up here it doesn't save that name because that's the, still the exact same name. So you guys are just gonna wanna click on this logo and it'll send you back here. Now you're gonna see this, you're gonna see tutorial for YT or whatever you guys named it and then just press on tinker this. And now you guys will see the name that it changed it to. Okay, so now you're going to want to just make a simple thing or whatever you guys want to. Um, so I will be right back with a little bit more in-depth piece for a cosmetic. Okay, I am back with a more in-depth cosmetic. I just 3D modeled, um, and now you're just going to want to, uh, like, color it up however you guys want it. I'm just going to color this. Uh, I'm gonna make it a nice red for a heart. This is just gonna be a princess wand. Um, so now when you guys are done naming it and making your cosmetic, um, if you guys need help with like making a cosmetic um, or like making a 3D thing, I'm going to show you guys right now. So what you're going to want to do is drag over a shape onto your like 3D plane and then um, whatever shape it is, you're just going to want to like size it however you guys like to whatever size you're going to want to do. I'm just going to do a nice simple like uh, one. I'm just going to change the color of this quickly and now I'm just going to drag over some text and yes it does go on wherever you put your mouse cursor so it will go on the top or it can go on to the side right here like that or it can go on to the side like that okay um, I'm just going to put it on to the top because I'm just going to do like a quick day one badge so then it, right here it'll say like text you're just going to want to name that like day one or whatever you guys want your cosmetic to be named or if you guys aren't making a cosmetic and you guys just want to do like text if it's like a map or something just to give me a little bit more detail that's perfectly fine okay now you're just gonna want to click off of that so that the plane goes away um now i like to size this down so i'm just gonna like size it down to like right there where it kind of looks symmetrical and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag it down into the cube so that's just a little bit above and now I'm going to make sure it's like all even. It looks pretty good. I'm going to make this a hole. And then I'm just going to group these right up here. And bam, there you go. It'll just take a tiny bit to load. But then you'll see like it has a hole. If you guys don't want it to have a hole, just ungroup it. And then click onto here. And then just do solid. And then you got it. Then you can group it together. Just like that. Uh, for text, I would not group it together if it's not a hole. Uh, mainly because you want to keep the different like... Uh, font thing and when you're dra when i'm dragging it into unity it's gonna just show up as like one singular thing whereas it'll show up like differently like it'll show up as two different pieces right here if you guys don't group it together see it says like shape and then two and then you, you guys can also see from right here like that's 10 shapes no eight shapes because i grouped uh, those other two shapes together okay um, so now that I just did the basics of that, I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth. So I'm just going to delete this day one badge right here. I'm going to go into different shapes. If you guys are wondering where I just press, just go to basic shapes. And then you guys will see all of this different stuff. I wouldn't really to worry too much about just figuring out all of this. It's pretty simple once you guys get the hang of it. Um, but like creatures and characters. Uh, like... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. There's not too much to this. 
really at all um just pick something that you think would work like a christmas tree or something i don't know whatever you guys want to do or whatever you guys are going to make me if you guys are from our discord if you guys aren't in our discord and you guys are just viewing this on youtube wondering how you do this for like a tutorial on how to use your phone just join our discord really quickly um we will have more videos on this in the future um we also have other videos like a tutorial on how to use blender but you have to have a laptop or a pc if you don't have one you're following this tutorial right now then okay so now when you have all of your stuff like fully ready uh, hold on, I have to that. Okay, so when you have all your stuff fully ready, you're gonna make sure you want to put it as close to the middle as you can. This mainly matters because of like, uh, whenever I'm sizing it and stuff in Unity, it might be a little bit off. So I'm just gonna try. Hold on, I'm actually going to go into my. Uh, actually, I don't have to really worry about that. That looks pretty good in the middle right there. It's okay if it's a tiny bit off, but just try and make it the best that you can. If you guys are gonna be sending me some of your stuff. Um, okay, so now when you have your entire design fully ready and ready to go out, um, you're just gonna want to, like, uh, um, what was I just going to say? Oh, it's my train of thought. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to, when you're ready for it, just click on export, and I say to export it as an OBJ if you guys are going to be, like, doing something with it, like, if you guys are going to just be, like, 3D printing. I would suggest an OBJ, but if your 3D printer only calls for an STL, use an STL. For my sake of it, when because I, I have to use Blender, and then I have to, like, um, use it a little bit more. So, I export it as a .STL. So, when I click on .STL, it'll pop up down here that, like, you're downloading it. Okay, so now for my game, when you guys are going, uh, when you guys are going to be, like, giving this to me, if you guys are in my Discord... Um, you guys are going to end up having like an STL and I'd want you guys to have it as an STL if you guys are on phone and all I do is I just go into my blender and then I just upload it through there so with that being said then I need you guys to just like follow along with this tutorial and stuff for it to actually work so have fun making your cosmetics this was a pretty short tutorial if you got i'm going to be making a another tutorial on how to get like a special app on your phone um that is a good it's kind of like blender but it's better or uh it's for phones instead of like other stuff um so that's a lot better so i will see you guys in the next tutorial if you guys have not already watched some of my other tutorials please do so in doing that and i will see you guys later